Lecture 4, Homogeneous Catalysis. Let us ask ourselves a question, what is a catalyst? A substance that influences the rate of a chemical reaction but remains unused up. In other words, it's both a reactant and a product of a reaction. A catalyst may be positive, once it increases the rate, or may be negative once it decreases the rate. However, it does not alter the thermodynamic functions delta G, delta H, delta S, or delta K, or K, of the given reaction. A catalyst actually interacts chemically with the reactant. But how does it do this? Sometimes by formation of a complex, which will then disintegrate to give you products. It therefore means the amount of it around is very important. So we can actually look at it as the rate will then be proportional to the concentration of the catalyst. For reversible reactions, it catalyzes both the forward and reverse reactions to the same degree. Hence, does not affect the equilibrium constant capital K, which is the ratio of Kf over Kr. Catalysts may be heterogeneous, that is, the catalyst and the reactants are in different phases, e.g., solid catalyst catalyzing gaseous reactions, hence, the interface is very important. Homogeneous in solution catalysis may be affected by ions present in solutions such as OH, such as H+, etc. May also be colloidal, not completely soluble, neither solid, e.g. in the case of enzymes. We'll be interested in the second one, but before that, let us consider general catalysis mechanism. It always involves catalyst plus a substrate in reaction to give an intermediate complex, which may be a simple addition complex. For instance, catalyst plus substrate in an equilibrium reaction to give an intermediate complex X, and step two, the X then breaks down to give the products and regenerate the catalyst. In other cases, particularly in acids and bases, the complex is not a simple addition complex. Some other intermediates may also be involved. Okay, let's look at another case. A catalyst plus a substrate in an equilibrium process to give us an intermediate complex X, which may then react with Y, or uh, with Y as, an, as another product, the X then may break down to give you the products and the catalyst. Y may also undergo some other reactions. Right, let us examine the mechanism in a little bit of detail. Let's look at a situation where K minus 1 is much, much bigger than K2. That is the reconverting of the reactants the reconverting to reactants is much faster than the conversion to products. Then the overall rate is given by, rate is equal to K2 times the concentration of X, where X is called the Arrhenius complex. If K minus 1 is of the order of K2, i.e. the rate of conversion to products and reactants are comparable, then X is a fairly constant concentration. Hence, we can apply the steady state approximation to obtain the overall rate. Here, the complex X will then be called the Van't Hoff 